Hi, my name is Jason Debley. Tonight we're going to look at another whiskey from Scotland, but not a single malt, not a blended Scotch whiskey, but rather a grain whiskey from the Compass Box Company. And it's a blended grain Scotch whiskey. So grain whiskies are basically uh, grains, uh, whiskies with a mash bill uh, primarily other than malted barley. So wheat would be a big uh, grain used in Scottish whiskey. In Canadian whiskey or American you're going to see rye and corn also in addition to wheat. Uh, the Compass Box Company, they've done something interesting here because you don't see a lot of grain whiskies like solely grain whiskies bottled in, in mass distribution. So I thought we would do this one for something a little different. The company was founded in 2000 by an ex-executive of Diageo, John Glazer's his name. And I like what he's been doing, he and his team. So this one's called Hedonism. And Hedonism is bottled at 43% alcohol by volume, 700 milliliter format. Uh, nice little cork stopper. Price point, uh, not cheap, not super expensive. No age statement. Natural color and no uh, chill filtration. So... And, and they tell you that right on the label, which I like. So, you know, natural color, non-chill filtered. That's good. Plain, simple English. Okay. Grain whiskeys primarily are used in blended scotch. So, so the source distilleries making up this grain whiskey uh, come from really uh, distilleries that you've never heard of. Cameron Bridge, Port Dundas, Case Bridge, Dumbarton, Canvas. You haven't heard of any of those distilleries. Those distilleries produce purely grain whiskey that then is sold to other producers who make blended scotches like uh, Diageo, like the Johnny Walker line, and whatnot. The nose on this whiskey is light, floral, buttercups, honey, nothing offensive here. I really like it, you know, there, there's, it's, it's, there's some old whiskey mixed in with the young whiskey. Great nose. On the palate. It's initially sweet. I think sweet bread. Um, it's creamy. Lots of vanilla. And the vanilla comes partly from the wood management. This grain whiskey is aged exclusively in 100% first fill American oak or rejuvenated American hogsheads. So it's all American oak. Sponge cake. Dutch butter cookies. But the finish, it starts to dry. There's a transition. You get that wheat and cereal. little bit of lemon pith. It's very good. Very good. I'm impressed with this product and I like it. Now the Compass Box Company call this whiskey Hedonism because they consider it to be quite decadent and uh, you know they have some flowery language on the back. There is a purity, a seductiveness, and a certain enticing femininity of Scottish grain whiskies which can make them special among spirits. Hmm. At their best, they're aged in good quality American oak casks brimming with vanilla and cream of 
whatnot. This whiskey is decadent and it would make a really good dessert whiskey. After a meal of, I would say, like poached salmon with asparagus, something light, maybe with fish, uh, you know, an aperitif or a nice dessert whiskey would be this. This whiskey is comparable to Glen Morangi, Nectar d'Or, 12 year old, Craig and Moore. Um, a lighter version of Dal Winnie. It's all about the honey. It's not peated. It's not sherried. And for the price, I think you're getting a really good dram. There are no flaws. It's balanced and highly recommended. So, compass box, hedonism, give it a whirl. I really do like this. And so far, I haven't had a bad whiskey from the Compass Box Company. Take care. Thank you, Carl, for the suggestion of reviewing Hedonism.